Hello, everybody. You got your cup of coffee, had a cup of tea this morning. Glad that you settled and ready to just spend some time with the Lord. I want to uh, read a passage of scripture to you this morning from John chapter 15, uh, verse 11. And it says this, and we've been talking about remaining in God, let his words abide in you, remain in you, so you can become fruitful and that you bring glory to the, to the Father as you become fruitful and you show yourself as a disciple when you obey his commands. And, and what a wonderful thing that the Father's love remains in us. And then verse, verse 11 says, I have told you these things. What things? The things about remaining, let his words remain in you, remain in love. You can ask whatever you want. It will be granted for you. You give glory to the Father and uh, you produce much fruit because you obey his commandments. He says, I have told you these things, these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. Ah, what does overflowing joy look like? What is it if you are full of joy? Have you seen somebody that is full of joy? I'll tell you what, a person that's full of joy is like, you give a, a kid a new toy that is the kind of a toy that they've been wanting for a long time. It's like they don't know what to do with themselves. Imagine if you can, a little boy who who's really desperately wanted a bicycle, and then for his birthday he gets a bicycle. His joy is, is like unbounding. He can't stay off the bicycle. And if he can't ride the bicycle and he falls off the bicycle and he grazes himself, mm, doesn't matter, going to get up, ride this bike. Too much joy. Have you seen somebody that supports a soccer team or a rugby team or some sort of team sport and, and their team has just won a big a big match or just done something spectacular, oftentimes they will just throw their hands in the air and they will become jubilant and they will be expressive and they will just reveal their joy. I wonder if you can have so much joy without expression. You know, it's like, I have so much joy, but I'm going to stay all like this. I don't think you can do that. You know, if you think you have joy and you can't hardly, you know, uh, get up, show some joy. Get up. Right now when I'm done praying, get up and show some joy. Speak some joy. Just say, Lord, I have joy of the Holy Spirit. I have a great joy in my heart because I can bear fruit and your love is in me and your commandments I obey and I have a full and glorious and productive and very fruitful life. And I, I mean, sometimes I just say, joy, joy, joy. Praise the Lord. Joy, joy, joy. Praise the Lord. I have abundance of joy, abundance of joy, abundance of grace, abundance of favor, abundance of blessing on my life because I remain in the Father. That's a good prayer to have right there. Joy, joy, joy. I'm having a day full of joy, a week full of joy. A whole, let's just have a whole year full of joy. Abundant, vibrant, wonderful Joy overflowing. Praise Jesus. I've done preached myself and prayed myself happy already today. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. This is a good time to actually launch out into praying in the Spirit with joy.